Hey, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these, uh, chicks. Um, before I say anything else, I will, um, if you saw my last tutorial, which was the basket, um, I had, like, this purple chick inside of it, um, and, uh, like, two people commented that they said, where can, um, they find, like, the tutorial to make it, and I said that, um, or I responded saying that I just had to like adjust it because this kind of looks like a duck and it didn't really fit in the basket as well. So I spent a while, like a few hours for some reason, on this design trying to make it look like an actual chick and it does and it fits perfectly inside of my basket if you made that. Um, so yeah. And I think that it took a while for me to design this because I just wanted it to be like perfect and not look like a duck because because this was like a variation of someone else's design. Um and yeah, um so the things that you are going to be needing today are a hook. Um you can use any hook uh it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna be using my rainbow loom hook. And for the face I used beads from Michaels and I also am going to be using, um, a stitch marker, um, and some stuffing, and yeah. So, I'm gonna be also using, um, one color for the body color, and another color for the legs and the beak, and I'm also gonna be adding cheeks. You do not have to add cheeks if you do not want to. Um, you can also make this guy- oh wait, I forgot to say that this guy is a pretty simple design. He really- it really isn't hard, um- I feel like this is really good for beginners, but except if you are a beginner, just don't put the fluff on it, cause that cause it kind of makes it like a little bit confusing. Uh yeah. Um, you can also make the fluff. You can also put like a different color for the fluff and make the main body color like a different color. It's just up to you, really. Um, I think that that is it. I'm just trying to think what else. Yeah, okay. So let's get started. I'm gonna be using pink. Oops. I'm gonna be using pink for the main color and for the beak and the feet, I'm going to be using wait one second. I have to go grab it. Where'd it go? It's right here. I'm gonna be using um the neon yellow from Rainbow Loom. Okay. So let's get started. Um, and I'm also gonna say that all my links will be in the description if you wanna check me out. My Etsy, my Instagram. And yeah, I think that I'm just gonna get started now because this is like a long intro, okay. So I'm not gonna be explaining, I'm just gonna say this right off the bat. If you wanna um, watch my other videos to learn the basics, or watch any uh, one any other person's video to learn the basics. That's up to you, but I'm not going to be explaining how to do decreases and increases because I have to explain how to do the fur and other things. So yeah. So I'm going to grab a band. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to grab a band, and I'm going to put it on my hook, creating two loops. Okay. I'm going to do that again. Creating two loops. Okay, I'm gonna grab another band. And I'm gonna pull it through just the first calving band like that. Alright. Then I'm gonna pull this one over the back one. And this band is gonna be our um fur band. You do not have to put the fur. If you do not want to put put the fur, just do how you normally would do it. Just don't do this, okay? So then I have my fur band right here, and I'm just gonna slide it on. Oops, I'm just gonna slide it onto that band, okay? Like that. So then I'm gonna get, grab another band, wrap it on twice, then go back in the capping band. I'm gonna grab um, another band, pull it through the capping band, and pull this one over the back one and put my fur bands on, okay? Then pull this one over this one. All right, so we, 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 we wanna make nine stitches in here, okay? That's how you make the fur. So you every single time when you start a stitch, you have to 
Got the band around twice. Go back in. Oh wait, I'm sorry, we, we have to put eight stitches. I said nine, I think. We have to put eight stitches in this capping band, okay? So this is my third one. Okay, fur band. I did actually um, make one um, without any fur and it did look good. I just wanted to say that, um, but I lost it because again, this design took me a few days to make because I wanted it to be like perfect and not like a variation of someone else's design because I do not, because I want to give credit to everybody who makes, um, because I don't want to like steal someone's design. I don't know why I just said that. Okay. So that was one, two, three, four, five stitches. I have to do eight, so I'm gonna do three more to make eight. Okay. So this was six. Seven, go. That bends then. I don't know. I don't really know why, but I've been finding out that rainbow balloon band, rainbow balloon bands are like really starting to get thin. I'm not really sure if it's just like the new ones because they had they made like a new band formula or whatever. All right, so that was my last stitch. I did eight stitches, so I'm gonna count. So to count, I'm gonna look at these like V shapes. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stitches. So instead of going back in the capping band, I'm gonna go into the first stitch here. But I'm gonna do a fur band first and go into this stitch. Okay, just make a stitch, pull it on. Then I'm gonna put my stitch marker on this band. And yes, I know, I do have to cut my nails. I was gonna do it yesterday, but then I just, um, I went to bed early and I just woke up and, yeah, okay. So then I'm just gonna do singles all around, okay? So I'm gonna do a, a fur band, go into the next stitch. Make a stitch. Pull the fur band on. Do singles all the way around, okay? I know that I keep saying okay, but yeah. So I ended up act I'm going to watch the new Harry Potter movie, or it's not the new Harry Potter movie, it's like a, I guess like a, almost like a different version to the others. It's like the Fantastic Beasts, um, The Secret of Dumbledore, I think that's what it's called. And I liked it. I just, I just have to rewatch the first other two Fantastic Beasts movies to actually get it, because I kind of forgot. Um, like, what happened in the other two, but yeah. And it's like super nice out today. I took pictures, which I'm really happy about. And I finally found a flower in my yard and um um the item that I was gonna take a picture with it on for Instagram ended up covering the flower so I have to take a picture with a different one. Sorry for the background noises. Okay, so I'm back at the stitch marker. I'm gonna, again, do my fur band. Go into the stitches with the stitch marker. And make a single stitch. Ugh. I'm 
and put the stitch marker back on the band on my hook. Sorry for the background noises, okay. So, this part's gonna be a little different, a little bit different, so just, um, watch me closely. So, grab a band, you go for, go into the next stitch, grab another band, pull it through, but don't pull it over that one. Get this fur band, and pull it through these two, like that. Alright? Then take this, then take, um, this first loop off, then, um, put this back one over this back one, then reclaim this one. Alright? So it's like a chain. What you're doing, okay, grab another, um, fur band. Um, pull it through like this, and pull it through these two loops, and reclaim. Okay, so I'll let slide off. I'm gonna grab another band, make a slip knot so it's kind of loose, so that kind of holds it. Alright, so then I'm gonna grab a, another fur band, wrap it on twice. Okay, so, then go into this part right here, so we have, like, our stitch marker here, I'm gonna go into this first chain right here, okay, like that, grab a band, and basically make a stitch, pull this fur band on, right, so do another, instead of going back into that stitch, we're gonna go into um, this one now. So I'm gonna go inside of it, I'm gonna take this one off, and I'm gonna make another stitch. Okay. I'm just doing this to elongate the body so it actually looks like a chick. Put fur band on. So we're gonna put three stitches in, in this one. So go back in that chain, whoops, and do three, so this is gonna, oh, I did something wrong, okay. So this is gonna be my second one. Pull on the fur band, I'm gonna go back in to do my last one. Okay, so this should have three. Then I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna do my fur band first. I'm gonna go to the other side where we did the first one and just make a stitch. It's probably easier without this fur, but it looks cute with it, so I'm gonna do it. Okay. So then after that, and and, and this was probably like the hardest part out of, out of like the whole entire design. So after that, I'm gonna go into the next stitch here. Wait, first I'm gonna do a fur band. I'm gonna go into the next stitch here. And just make a stitch. And we're gonna make, and we're gonna do that all single stitches till we get to the stitch marker. Okay. Again, I'm not explaining it that well because um, you really should know the basics if you're making this anyway. I'm really glad that I'm filming it now. I was actually going to film this, um, like, three or four days ago, on Monday, and it's Friday now. Um, but I just, again, it took me a while to design, get right. But now it's finally here, which I'm really glad about. <laughs> My love, <laughs> that band just like flew. This is like a really fun and cute design. I'm 
that because it like fits perfectly in the basket. My other purple one that I did really doesn't. It was like really hard to in there. Okay, so I'm back at the stitch marker. I'm just gonna make a stitch with the band the, with the band that has the stitch marker on it. Take my stitch marker off, put it on the band on my hook. Oops. Okay. So I'm gonna do another fair band. Then I'm gonna go into the stitch right here that we did the last row. So it should look like this. I'm gonna go into here. Okay, ignoring the fur bands. Make sure you're not snagging any while you're stitching. Okay, I'm just gonna do single stitches all the way around this till we get to the stitch marker again. Okay, so just single stitches in these V-shape loops. Which are the stitches. I really don't want to confuse anyone. But the V-shape loops are the stitches if I didn't say it in the beginning. Okay. I'm like really glad that I'm filming this because um, in like a day, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, it is going to be Easter. So I just really wanted to get this out and I said in my last video that I was gonna have at least like two Easter designs out. I may make another one, but probably not. I don't know yet. I have to, well, we'll see. It depends. Because I'm gonna go back to the movies today and re and um, watch the Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts and the Secrets of Dumbledore again because um, uh, my parents actually ended up um, buying two, two tickets or whatever, so... I'm watching it twice in like two days, in like the course of like two days, which is fun. But it's fine because I like honestly I kind of want to re to rewatch it because I feel like I missed some like components in it. And yeah, I'm on spring break, which is great. So there will definitely be a bunch more tutorials. Um. The next one actually may be, um, another springtime tutorial, um, maybe my caterpillar design, which a bunch of people have been wanting that design, and I posted it, like, a year ago, or maybe even about almost two years ago, it was my first post on Instagram, so I may be making that design, someone actually, about a year ago, wanted the pattern, and I said that I would, um, give it to them, but I never ended up giving it to them. I'm, like, really sorry if you're watching this, but I just was so busy and I totally forgot. So that may actually be my next t tutorial. I'm not really that sure, but I want to do a bunch of spring tutorials. Oops, I accidentally went in a fluff band, just go on the two st stitches. Okay, I'm back at the C-clip. Again, I'm just gonna do a fluff band. I'm gonna go into the band that has the stitch marker in it. You can also use C-clips for the stitch marker. I should've said that in the beginning, but you probably already knew that. Okay, I'm gonna take the stitch marker out and put it on the hook. I just use the lock stitch markers, okay? So this round we're gonna do um, two, um, two singles then a decrease okay so this was one single i'm gonna do another single so i'm gonna go into the next stitch do a single then i'm gonna put a fluff band on and then i'm gonna do a decrease which it's basically just getting the um the inner loop on this one of one stitch here and then Go into the other stitch and grab the outer loop. That's a decrease. Just pull a band through those two loops. Oops. Make a stitch. So yeah, just single, single, and then decrease. So my next stitch is gonna be a single all the way around till we get to the stitch marker.
So another single. And if you are on spring break, let me know how it's going. If it's like raining because the weather outside is like beautiful today. Um, so that was a single and then I'm gonna do a decrease. I did two singles and then this one's gonna be a decrease. I'm like so happy that it's um, nice out, but I honestly kind of like the cold weather. I just like when it's like sunny out and like not raining. I kind of like the cold weather and I don't like the warm weather, but I just like when it's like sunny. But that's just my preference. Okay, so I just did a great decrease and so I'm gonna do two singles. Man, the new bands from Rainbow Loom are, like, really thin. I've been noticing that with, um... Okay, so... I should have two stitches left than my stitch marker, and you should really... You should end on a decrease. If you didn't end on a decrease, you probably did something wrong. It is an easy fix. You can just go back and see what you did. Although, it would probably be annoying because the poof bands would probably fly out. But anyway. Okay, I'm gonna make some back at the stitch with my um, stitch marker. I'm gonna go into that stitch and make a stitch. Make a single stitch. Okay. Put the secret back on my hook and now I'm gonna stuff it. You do not need to stuff this. I feel like it's, I feel like these guys are really well without stuffing, but I like when they're like firm. So I'm just gonna use stuffing. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna take my um, C clip out. Um, it should. Um, your design should say if you have a lock. If you have a C clip, then it should too. Wait one second. I'm gonna be right back. So I just had to stop for a minute because there was a gnat in my room. I like a small gnat because my door was opened. Anyways. Um. So I'm not just gonna put stuffing in here. I'm not gonna stuff it too much. I'm just gonna. I'm using polyfill, you can use cotton balls, tissue paper. I'm just gonna use my stuffing stick that it came with the polyfill. Just stuff the head part. That's good. I really don't want to overstuff this because it really doesn't need that much stuffing, honestly. Okay, so I think that's well stuffed. Looks like that. So, I'm gonna put my stitch, my hook back on the stitch marker with the band. Make sure that you, that you don't put it in so it's like, tw like, so it's like twisted up. Just put it in so it's like evenly in like this. So it's straight, basically. Okay, so this row I'm gonna do a single, then a decrease. So this was a single, so the next stitch is gonna be a decrease. So first I put my poof band on. Doing a decrease. Then a single. So I'm just thinking because uh, that knot kind of cringed me. Okay, so I'm going to do a decrease. And a single. Then the last, and you should end on a decrease. Then I'm 
Samus in a, um, two, okay, wait, hi, hi, so that, so that was the last fluff band. I'm not gonna add any more fluff bands because what ended up, what ended up happening is I added, on my trial runs, I added, um, a row with the fluff bands and it was so hard to put on the feet. Now that if you don't, if you put fluff bands on this row, then it would be really hard to add the feet. But if you don't, then it's gonna be really easy. So I'm just gonna take my stitch marker out and put on a single stitch. All right, just don't add the fluff bands, just make a normal stitch with all the fluff bands. Then this row I'm just gonna do decrease all around until close. So no fluff bands. You can if you want it, it's just gonna be really difficult to put on the feet. So all decreases to close. Okay. So this is gonna be my last decrease. I'm gonna so I have those so when it's that and send up do my decrease, I'm gonna grab a band and pull it through everything on my hook and slip on it, pulling it tight. Alright. Then I'm just gonna hide it in here. I'm just gonna hide this tail inside of the body. Flatten it out gently. Cause I hate stretching out bands. All right, so the bottom should look clean and have no puff bands on. All right, well, it's a plane if you can hear that in the background. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab my um, whatever this color is, um, my orange color or my feet and beak color. I'm actually gonna use orange and not the neon. Actually, no, I'm gonna use neon. Yeah, I'm gonna use neon. Okay. Of my neon bands. Right, I'm gonna go on the bottom. So, if you can see this, the band where it looks like this is the top, and then this is the bottom. So I'm gonna go on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna send it. Pick a place that looks good right there to put the to, to set the feet. So I'm gonna go into like a stitch there. I'm gonna grab my other color. I'm gonna double loop it and pull it through. Those two bands back on my hook like that. So I'm gonna double loop it. So there's four chains basically. So double loop again, pull it through those bands. My hook. Oops, you. I totally went off camera on that. Double loop another. So just double loop four times. So double loop one more time. Like that. Okay, that's it. And then I'm gonna pull pull the front one over this back one like this, and pull tight. Then I'm just gonna basically gonna go into the, this front stitch and grab these the this tail and just basically weave it in there like that, so you can't see it anymore. Oops, I have to redo that. Just so you can't see it anymore. Okay. So it looks like that. Just leave it how it is right now. And then I'm going to go on the other side. Pick another spot. Double loop again. Four times. One. Two. It's a little hard because it's double loops, but you can do it. Two. Sorry, I just have to go off camera for a minute so I can see how to do this. Okay. Three. I didn't do anything um, off camera. I just did the same stuff. So last one. Four. Again, make a slip knot. A double loop band. If you do like a single band slip knot, then it's probably gonna be too loose, but it still will work. Okay, I'm just gonna hide this slip knot. Loose some bands. 
Okay, so my feet look like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go into the second stitch right here. And basically pull it forward like this. So they basically can bend. So the feet can bend like this. But these just fell off again, so I'll have to fix that later, but yeah. Again, I'm gonna do that on the other foot. Gosh, it's kind of hard to do it. See, now all my things are falling off. <laughs> Whatever. Just fix it. Okay. So, the feet are bending like that. So these just fell off. I'm just gonna fix it off camera. I'm not gonna fix it now. Okay, so they're bending. Okay, so next I'm going to do the beak. So I'm just gonna basically pick a stitch in the face up here. That looks good to me. Go right there, I'm gonna grab my feet color, so I'm using yellow, and chain up three times. So one then whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, sorry, I have to redo that. Two and then Three. Okay, I'm gonna pull this band over the back one, slip knot it, again, weave it through so this band is hidden. Sorry, I, I can do this way better off camera. I feel like I'm not going as gentle, but at least I'm showing you how to do it, at least. Okay, so that's the beak. If I said that, that, that we were doing that, right? Sorry, I don't even know if I said that we were doing the beak, I just kind of did it, but that was the beak. Okay, so then I'm going to pick where I want my eyes. So I'm going to put my eyes here. Alright, and there's a poof band here. Alright, wait, okay. So first I'm going to show you how to do the eyes. Okay, I'm going to grab my beads. Basically how to do an eye... And you can use, like, wrap bands for the eyes. You can use small safety eyes. I've seen many people with small safety eyes. I'm just gonna use these beads. I have my... I'm just gonna get string wire. You can use anything. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using gentle floss. I'm gonna go through the hole in my bead. I'm gonna grab my body color band. I'm gonna put it through there. And then I'm gonna put it back in the hole. Alright, just like that, and you need two of those, so I'm gonna go off camera and do the other one. So I did both of the eye bands, I'm gonna pick a spot where I want the eyes, I'm just gonna go here, next to the beak, I'm gonna grab an eye band, Oops. I'm just gonna pull it through and do a step knot, I'm not gonna pull tight, okay, I'm just gonna leave my tail like that, I'm gonna tuck it in until I like it. I'm not going to tuck it in until I, until I know that I like it. Again. Oops. Okay, so I should look like this. And what I found is the fur band's here, and it's going to get in the way, so I'm just going to cut that one off. Make sure to only cut the fur band and not the actual stitch. But I'm just going to cut that fur band off so you can see the eyes better. Um... I know that's probably like a waste of a band, but I don't know, like, know where to actually like, place it in the thing. It's just easier for me. So, yeah. I'm just going to cut those. You don't have to do that. It just looks better for me. So I'm also going to add cheeks. Um, if you want to do it. Sorry, I know that that, that was kind of confusing. You don't have to cut it. I, I just cut it because I like it like that. Because it's... Because it, the... Because, like, the poof is going to... Um, basically cover the eyes, and you can't see the eyes because the poop is covering the eyes, okay? So I'm gonna grab red for the cheeks because on these guys I did pink, and I'm just gonna use red for this guy's cheeks. So I'm gonna grab two bands for the cheeks, you don't have to do the cheeks, you can just leave it as it is, but I'm just gonna go and pick a spot where I want the cheeks, again, basically do a slip knot, pull 
jump all tight, and then just hide it in the body like that. And then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna hide in these um, eye bands. I basically just waited till the end because if you hide because it, if you hit in the eye bands after you do the cheeks, then the eye bands are gonna fall out off. So yeah. One side, I'm gonna do the other side, pick a spot where I want the other cheek. Pull sort of tight, hide that cheek in here, and hide the eye band in the body. Okay, I like to do hide the eye band, band in after, it's just easier for me, like I said. Alright, fix eyes up here. Okay. And that is your adorable little check. I really hope that you like the design. Wait, oh wait. So, I do hope that you like this design. Um, I really worked hard on it, but I really love, love it. Um, so, after when you're done with that, you can add a bow like I did here. I added a bow. I think it looks really cute. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do add, add the bow. But first, um, there's going to be like a little hole up here. If you want to cover that, I just basically go into this side and go into the other side. Grab a body color band and just pull it through those and just do a slip knot and pull tight. And just hide it in. But I want to give this guy a bow, so I'm not going to do that. Because the bow hides this hole. So I'm going to pick my bow colors real quick. Sorry, wait, 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 I'm just gonna pick my bow colors to see what I want to pull. Um, I'm just gonna pick these. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna use these colors. Alright. I know that I keep saying alright, but sorry about that, okay. So you can grab two pegs. I'm just gonna be grabbing the loom. I'm just gonna be grabbing two pegs and I'm just gonna be grabbing the colors that I want. So I'm just gonna put purple, then blue, then I'm gonna be using clear. Then I'm gonna grab purple again, then blue. Okay, so there's like five bands. And you can also do this on your fingers or like other things that have pegs. Then I'm gonna grab my hook. I'm gonna grab two more bands. Go under there. Pull it through up there like that. Reclaim these. And just do a slip knot and pull it tight. Okay. Basically put this on your hook so it doesn't come off. Can't really show you. So I'm just gonna grab these off like this. So take it off the loom. Alright, that's your bow. Okay, then I'm gonna go in through this hole in here, and I just basically grab this part and I slip it in like that and just hide it in. Yeah, stuffing's coming out. Okay. So there's your bow. Super cute. Alright, that's it. So that's basically it. I hope that yours came out adorable. I have like an army of these guys now. Including oh stuffing. Including this one, which is not the final version. Okay. If you if you made these, tag me on Instagram, at Clonnews and Cheek. All links will be in the description, like I said before. They are absolutely adorable, and if you have not made made, made my other designs, make this adorable little basket that these chicks fit in perfectly in. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone.